Hey guys, today we're going to talk about packaging. You guys have been asking me, where do I get this? Where do I get that? Where are these from? Oh my God, what about your CLP labels? How do you package them? So I'm just going to give you a quick run through of everything that I use. Now, my packaging is not as sustainable as I'd like it to be. And to be honest, I feel like sustainable packaging is undoubtedly great for the earth, but it is quite costly as well. Like, especially when you're talking about packing peanuts and you need to get the eco ones or even, um, or even like eco-friendly bubble wrap or even, you know, the, the eco-friendly gum tape, like that's all very expensive. So as much as I would love to be a sustainable brand, especially with my packaging, I kind of feel like I am anyway, because, you know, I try my best to use, um, to try not to use like, you know, paraffin or as much plastic, but sometimes it's just unavoidable, especially when it comes to this bad boy right here, bubble wrap. Like I have eco-friendly bubble wrap as well, but I feel like it just doesn't do the job, you know? Okay, so I think that we should start off with my containers. So, like a little bit about myself. I have to admit, I am not a risk taker when it comes to massive purchases. So obviously when I started candles, I was like, it's just gonna be a hobby. I don't really wanna be pouring hundreds and thousands of pounds into it. Um, I just wanna kickstart it and see if I like it and then we go from there. So I like to buy my products in small quantities now often i either buy them from ebay or amazon i don't go for any fancy you know bulk wholesale order although i know some candle websites you can buy in small quantities but i've always stuck to what i've known best and that's ebay and amazon okay because your girl loves a deal and i like cheap prices so the first one is my tin container these I actually bought from eBay, but you can buy these from Amazon as well. These are eight, out, eight ounces. Blech. These are eight ounces. Um, they're pretty much the big, the bigger size. I know you can get smaller ones, but I feel like if it's eight ounces, you can charge a little bit more for them. And I will try and find links for everyone and I will leave them in the description because, you know, I feel like when I started candle making, it was so hard for me to find a channel or a video that just went straight to the point as like okay here's where you can get it get it from here here's what you can get get it from here rather than go for a whole backstory although that's what i feel like i'm doing right now anyways um my amber jars i do actually buy from a website it's called g baldwin for those in london it's kind of like a medicine shop um these are 180 mil for size references Again, you can buy them from Amazon, but they are pretty expensive um, for my liking. They might not be expensive for you because, you know, you guys probably have more money than me. But for me, I like to keep it small quantities and good deal. So I found these on G Baldwin. Um, again, I'll leave everything in the description below. Okay, in terms of wicks, I don't know if you guys saw my other video where I talk about wicks, but I say buy it in small quantities because you're just gonna you're gonna be testing a lot when you start out. So I actually buy them from an eBay seller. She's a lovely lady. Like she's helped me so much just messaging, and it's kind of nice because a lot of eBay sellers sometimes they are just individual people like me and you. Um, they're not necessarily massive companies or massive warehouse companies where they'll reply to you at like four o'clock in the morning because they're from actually from china but yeah i get mine from her again for the uk candle makers i will leave the description below i'm not quite sure if she does ship worldwide but guys there's candle supplies everywhere i'm sure you guys can you know find a supply for yourself um so yeah she gives me she, they come like this and she literally just gives me all the sizes I need in box of 10 or 20 and I literally pay about three pounds. Okay, next, um, my labels. My labels for my candles. Now I actually print them off myself, except for these ones because I kind of wanted it to look more like luxury and not just kind of handmade-ish. Like, you know when you want that luxury finish? 
Um, so I actually spent a little bit more, which is not that much more. And I bought these from Avery. So if I show you guys, yeah, so I bought my candle, these labels from Avery. And then what I do, I basically, any candle, I just kind of print individually what scent my candle is. And also for the packaging labels, um, I also print myself. These you can just buy on eBay or you can buy from any stationery shop or even Amazon. So these are my thank you labels. And then what I do, I stick them on the box. Boxes I get from eBay because I can get them in quantities of 10, but you can also get them from Amazon, which I have done before. Um, if you guys want me to give you like a rundown of different box sizes, then let me know because I have about I have about three, four different box sizes. So this is just enough. This won't fit my candle. It won't close. So I tend to use these for my soaps or for my body candles or occasionally I do use the tin ones and you can actually close it but it will just poke out a little bit but it's fine you know the snugger the packaging is the less it will move around. Now CLP labels I know that is kind of like a tricky one especially when you seek advice because they're like oh you should have the label should have this the label should have that it needs to have this and then sometimes when you look at like really corporate candles like yankee candles they don't have any of that so i went for these candle labels which basically are like these again i got this from ebay but you have to read that it specifies exactly what you want it to say so this obviously it says to um it gives you a warning and it prompts you to burn candle with insight, keep away from drafts and vibrations, keep out of reach of children and pets, never burn candle or near anything that can catch fire, trim your wick, um, keep the candle free from any foreign materials, only burn the candle on a level fire resistant surface, do not burn the candle for more than four hours at a time. So that to me just, it, it prompts you for every single warning that could possibly go wrong with a candle. Keep it away from children, trim your wick, you know put it on a heat resistant surface and you know other things as well but i know sometimes some labels don't have the basic things so yeah that's kind of my advice but again don't really take my advice on that because sometimes if you don't label your candles properly and something happens then some people might try and sue you or complain to you or report you to trading standards tissue paper i get from you know, Sainsbury's, my local supermarket. My thank you cards I get from Vistaprint. So obviously I can't print these myself. These again, I only spent about 10 pounds on them. And they're nice, they print them nice. You can print the kind of finish. And it's. I think Vistaprint is quite affordable. It is very affordable. And um, with thank you cards, I know with thank you cards, it's kind of like you don't want to splash out on them because people are just going to go, oh, that's pretty, meh. What's next? What's next? I feel like I've missed a... Ah, okay, eco-friendly bubble wrap. Now, I use bubble wrap because I feel like it does the job. With the eco-friendly bubble wrap, it is eco-friendly because it's paper, but I just feel like it doesn't, it doesn't cushion my candles as much as I'd like it to be. So when I do use this, I do tend to put in um, either bubble wrap or packing peanuts, like ones that I've had from my last batch. I don't, packing peanuts are quite expensive, so I don't know if I'm gonna continue using them. Um, I'd rather just use bubble wrap because it's more affordable. Also, I tend to put sometimes my boxes into these envelopes. So they have bubble wrap inside it as well because I see people, they literally, they post their packages like this and I don't trust my royal, you know, service to safely deliver my box like this to my customer's doorstep because I feel like with these kind of boxes and parcels, people are so careless when it comes to, you know, handling packages and this is for experience. I feel like people play football with packages so I, I don't feel settled that i could give this to my delivery office and expect it to be like this in like it could be reached to my customer in the exact same condition i feel like the box is going to get battered so i do put it into an envelope like this 
um and just it's just that extra you know peace of mind that it is more wrapped and obviously if they see it as a big package then they're less likely to kind of throw this around as opposed to this but you know i don't know i don't work in a delivery office so it may be completely different um last but not least guys i made the very big girl decision and i invested into one of these if you don't have one of these like you need to get one of these again this is under like 10 pounds for me and it saved me so much more trouble because before i was using a ruler and a scoring knife and you know sometimes the paper would snag or sometimes it would come out wonky and then it I, it would just look unprofessional and sometimes when my card comes sometimes they're not like you can see here there's a bit of printing error so i can just amend that quickly with this it's so precise it's literally gets it done so quickly and i use it for you know things that are not my candles and my soap labels as well because my soap labels go around my soap i need it to be pristine i need it to be clean cut so this gives me that the scoring knife doesn't so yeah i hope you guys have found this video helpful um again any other questions let me know you guys are giving me a ton of questions and i am going to answer every single one of your questions because i know what it's like to go on a youtube video and you have a question and because the person posted it like two years ago they're not going to answer you but you really need that answer so i will be that person for you guys and i will answer your questions to the best of my ability anyway um yeah again i hope i help someone out there and visit my candles if you guys want put your candle websites on the in the comments below and i'd like to check out you know what you guys are doing as well so i'll see you guys in the next video let me know what you guys want to know so you know help me help you